Hey, so I'm back again. Uh, <laughs> um, I've had a pretty good week when it comes to videos. I never do this many in a week, which maybe I'll start doing again if I start going to more places, but you never know. But uh, anyway, so uh, hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Um, and uh, the reason why I'm doing a video today is because after work, because I worked really early in the morning, I uh, got off early in the afternoon so I decided to since I had some time to kill and I hadn't gotten to go yet and it's getting to be that season I went to the flea market it's uh, the Milton flea market it's about 10 miles from my about 10 15 miles from my house not a bad distance at all and uh, yeah um, and I spent over an hour there just looking at all the cool stuff because I love going to flea markets like that, just seeing all the kind of cool stuff. And also, you know, they have some people have animals for sale. Um, there was a rooster there that kept crowing every 30 seconds. I'm not kidding. Um, but anyway, um, reason why I'm doing this video is because I got a couple of things. Um, as you can see, I got quite a bit of stuff <laughs> um so i just decided to do a video and show you guys what i what i got this is the biggest haul i've ever gotten at a a single flea market uh the only other time I, I only went once last year i got some pretty good stuff there last year but this was this was all great stuff but um it's all split into um the stops i made so just a little bit okay there we go <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to do the um, first stop, or the first venue I went to first. Um, this guy was really nice. He was um, an older guy. Um, he didn't really have that much stuff, but he did have quite a few DVDs. Not a decent amount, maybe like 20 or so of them, like 20 or 30 DVDs. And he only wanted a dollar a piece for them. And so I grabbed five from him, so five bucks, not bad. So we'll start with uh, the first one I got. Now this is the first one that caught my eye. And I checked it, I was like, please don't be scratched, please don't be scratched. And it wasn't, so that's good. So for only a dollar, I got the widescreen edition of Death to Smoochie. This is a movie I've been wanting to see for quite some time. Um, it's uh, this. It sounds like it'd be really interesting, really dark comedy. Um, it has a great cast. I mean, Robin Williams, Edward Norton, Danny DeVito, Catherine Keener, Jon Stewart, and Danny DeVito actually directed this movie. Um, I think I think this is only the because th what movies is he? Because he directed Throw Mama from the Train. I think he yeah he directed War of the Roses. Um, he directed Matilda. Um, I've seen Throw Mama from the Train. I love that movie, and I've seen Matilda. I like Matilda, and but I haven't seen War of the Roses. I haven't seen this, and I think he also did Hoffa, directed Hoffa, the uh, Jack Nicholson movie, as where Jack Nicholson plays Jimmy Hoffa. I know Danny DeVito is in it too, but I think I think he also directed it. Don't quote me on that, but I think he did. But anyway, so yeah, this one sounded really interesting, um, and also because it's Robin Williams. He's my all-time favorite actor, and I miss that man. He was so funny, so I loved everything he did. Well, almost everything he did. Um, there's a couple of movies of his that I like. A lot of people don't like. I like RV. Old Dogs. Eh, it's not not that good. But anyways, um, and also I really like Edward Norton, so excited to get that one. Put that down here. Okay, then the second one I got, and this was also in really good shape, and this one is also one I haven't seen, and this sounded interesting. Something's Gotta Give. Uh, Jack Nicholson, Diane Keaton, Keanu Reeves, Francis McDormand. I'm sold. <laughs> That's all there is to it. The cast sold me, and it was only a dollar. I was sold. And the next one I got from the guy, and this one I have seen. This one I really like. And this is the uh, sp special edition of The Patriot. I really like this movie. This is actually one of my favorite Mel Gibson movies. Um, I think it's really underrated because you don't hear that many people talk about it that much. But um, I really like it. And, you know, it's directed by Roland Emmerich who did um, 
uh, Independence Day, the day after tomorrow, White House Down. This, next to White House Down and the day after tomorrow, might be my favorite of his. Those are my three favorite movies of his. I'm not a huge fan of his other stuff. I mean, I like Independence Day, but I don't love it like everybody else does. This I really do enjoy quite a bit. So, yeah, for a dollar, I thought, might as well add that to it. And then the next one I got, also, like I guess, I said, for a dollar. This one I have, this one I also haven't seen. But it's one I've been eyeing for a while. And so I decided to go ahead and get it. And that is Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World. Um... Like I said, it sounds like it'd be really interesting. Uh, it was directed by Peter Weir, who's done really good movies. And I like Russell Crowe. I'm not a huge Russell Crowe fan, but I do like him as an actor. And then this is another one I haven't seen. You're going to see a, a couple, a few that I haven't seen. There's a couple that I have seen, though. But anyway, also for a dollar, I grabbed Jarhead. This is actually the last movie I got from the guy. Um, but yeah... Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, Peter Sarsgaard, Chris Cooper, Jamie Foxx, um, directed by Sam Mendes, who I loved Skyfall so much. It's next to Goldfinger, my favorite James Bond movie. Um, and I liked Spectre. I didn't love it, but I did really enjoy it. But, uh, yeah, this sounds like it'd be really good. Um, and it's also shot by Roger Deakins, and you cannot go wrong with that. And then the last thing I got from the guy, I got I got one CD, and I actually mainly got this from my brother because I know that my brother likes likes this guy's music. Well, I do too. I like I like his music too. This is Dino, the Essential Dean Martin. Uh, yeah, it's Dean Martin. It's his. It's it's a, it's like basically his like best like it's basically a best of cd but so i like but i like his music okay the next five yes next five are from the next place i stopped at uh this guy had a lot like he had an entire wall full of stuff he was charging two dollars a piece for dvds three dollars for blu-rays right there we go um, I got four DVDs, one Blu-ray from him. I'll go ahead and show you the Blu-ray first. This is for $3. And it is District 9. I also haven't seen this movie. This one also sounds like it'd be really pretty interesting. Um, I know that... Uh, who's it? Neil Blomkamp. I know that some, his movies have like mixed opinions. This one I know a lot of people like, but I know it's a lot of people aren't fond of, you know, Elysium and Chappie. Um, well, I don't know. I think this one will be pretty pretty interesting. I mean, to say the least. And it's produced by Peter Jackson, so I figured why not, you know. <laughs> now this is another one that I haven't seen, but this is one that I've been wanting to see for a long time. I might watch this this week actually because I've been wanting to see this one. For a while, and it is almost famous. I love Cameron Crowe's movies. I love Jerry Maguire. I really, really like Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Even though he didn't direct it, he wrote it. I love that movie. I love Jerry Maguire. And this one sounds really, just really great. I mean, it also sounds semi-autobiographical when you read about Cameron Crowe's, like his youth and everything. It sounds like it's semi-autobiographical, but Anyways, and it, it looks like it has a great cast. I mean, I mean, another movie with Frances McDormand, who is my favorite actress of all time. I love her. Um, also has Billy Crudup, Kate Hudson, Jason Lee, Anna Paquin, and Philip Seymour Hoffman. Another actor gone too soon. And then the next one that I got, um, also for $2.00. This is another movie I haven't seen, although it has been on my wish list. Another movie starring uh, Billy Crudup. It's like almost famous, surprisingly. Um, Big Fish. Um, I mainly got this because, um, you know, it sounds like it'd be really interesting. I really love the cast. Um, like I said, it's got Ewan McGregor, Albert Finney, Billy Crudup, Jessica Lange, Helena Bonham Carter, Marion Cotillard, Steve Buscemi, love him, and Danny DeVito again. <laughs> and um, it's directed by Tim Burton and just like uh, a few days ago when I picked up Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children 
I love Tim Burton. I love his older stuff, not so much his newer stuff, but this one sounds like it'd be really, really, really pretty good. This one I have seen, and it's a movie that, it's a comedy that I love. I really love this movie. I was really happy to get this one for only $2. Rat Race. I love this movie. This movie is so funny. Um, oh my gosh. It's um, it's basically a remake of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, which I haven't seen, but I've seen this, though. It, ugh, it's so funny. Um, it has one of my favorite ensembles for a comedy, like, you know, Rowan Atkinson, John Cleese, Whoopi Goldberg, Cuba Gooding Jr., Seth Green, John Lovitz, Breck and Meyer. Um, who else is in this? Uh, Kathy Bates in one scene. Uh, Kathy, Naj Kathy Najimy's in it. Um, yeah, it's just a really, really hilarious movie. This is one of those movies I watch a couple times a year. I just love it. At least I used to watch a couple times a year. I don't have it anymore, but now I do. But, uh, yeah. I love this movie. I really do. And then the last one I got from the guy. Now this one I was really, really excited about because, um, literally, I mean, I was excited when I found when I found these at his place. But once I found this, and the disc was in good shape, I was just like, it's mine, mine, mine. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway. For th also for two dollars, the Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. Even though it says seven ninety five, it was not seven ninety five. Uh, I love Wes Anderson. Whoever's watched my videos, especially my Moonrise Kingdom video, you know that I love Wes Anderson. Um, and this is one that um, I started watching on Netflix, but I haven't finished it yet. I don't think I don't know if it's on Netflix anymore, but. Um, anyway, I have a physical copy. Now I am going to watch it. Um, speaking of Wes Anderson, I saw Isle of Dogs last night, and I need to post a review of that. But before I do, all I'm going to say is, yeah.